Hi there, my name is Matthew Guzdow. I'm presenting a little teaser for a demonstration of Mechanic Maker and AI for Mechanics co-creation. My student Varden Saini was the first author and we're both from the University of Alberta. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at our interface. So up here we have a grid. This represents a particular frame of our imaginary game. You can see right here we're at frame zero. Um, down here we have a palette of different kinds of things we could put into a particular frame. For now, let's go ahead and select, I don't know, this zombie right here. So I'm gonna put this zombie down here, and now this is in our frame zero. If I go to our next frame, frame one, we can see that our um, rules are currently predicting that our zombie will stay in the same position. That's where this translucent zombie here. So that's correct. Let's go ahead now and hit the right arrow on this, this, uh, on this frame, frame one. Now, if we go to frame two, we'll see that again, the rules are predicting we'd stay in the same place. We haven't yet learned a rule about going to the right. So let's go ahead and show it. Hey, you should go to the right when I hit the right arrow. And now on this frame three, let's go ahead and give it this example again. So it still hasn't learned the rule. That's all right. Um, now we're on frame five. Let's go ahead and give it the example one more time on frame six. And now on frame seven, let's test it. See, okay, if I go to the right on frame seven, what do I get? Okay, so there on frame eight, we were able to see that we were able to predict that I should go from frame seven to frame eight going to the right. Um, we can also zoom out like this to get a sense of, hey, we've moved a little bit. So that gives you the basic sense of how we learned rules. Let me give this example one more time. I'll go ahead and show you the right arrow on frame eight. And sure enough, we're gonna predict that we go to the right in frame nine. Okay, let's take a look at a more complicated game that I put together earlier. This is a kind of Flappy Bird-like game. Um, you'll note lots of examples of the bird flapping, only one example of the, the um, bricks disappearing. If we play it, it looks a little bit like this. <laughs> 